Welcome back to the channel guys, UCS Productions here, or your boy better known as Jedi Roy. Now, I've been doing a lot of stuff over the last couple of days in my Lego room. We've been getting real, I've been moving a lot of stuff about, sorting some things out, cleaning places, getting ready for my big video that I'm going to do soon. So, this is looking a bit bare down here because I've got some of my sets downstairs uh, waiting to be on that table. I finally got the Arc 170 Starfighter done on stream the other day, uh, yesterday evening actually. I, I've like moved all of this section around here, sorted out some of my minifig stuff. I finally got my last order in for the 501st gunship and I got another little surprise order as well which I'll, I'll open in today's kind of vlog. And I sorted out a bunch of other pieces, I can finally close the lid on my tan pieces box now. So, this is nice, I can actually kind of sit in here properly now. Got this section of the room nicely done, so I can fit everything around it. I finished parting out all of like my nine 501st battle packs. This isn't all of it. This is stuff that th this is stuff that I might actually like use to customize my 501st gunship even more. I've got some cool ideas. These are sets that I'm also having to build for uh, for the big collection video when I get round to it. I've neatened up my my packing station for when I sell my when I sell stuff like minifigs or parts or small sets. So these are two uh, not massive orders. They're just kind of well. I'm hoping they're what I think they are. If they are, then I can obviously finish my gunship off. So we're going to start off with what I think is the Bricklink order. If I can actually get into it, that is. It looks like, looks like it, yeah, which is good. And what I like is that some of the Bricklink is uh, sellers, they actually use, oh, yes, these all look like decent parts as well, which is what I like to see. They actually give like the order number, it makes it so much easier to, to like part out, well, you know, just kind of find what you've got. I will go through that in a moment. It's nice to finally have all the all the rest of the pieces though. Well, I hope they're all there. Now this one's pretty cool. Don't know why he bothered to package it twice, but this is just a little something I found on eBay a couple of days ago and I got I think a fair price for them. So I've been clucking to get myself some, some new 212th troopers recently. I don't know why, I just kind of got into it. And so I found these guys on eBay from a guy that's 100% legit. They're in excellent condition. I don't really care about the actual guns. But yeah, they all look in good. The only thing is, one of them is missing his helmet, which is a bit of a shame but I'm sure it's not going to be too hard to find. They also do actually come with the waist capes, which is something you don't often see. Most people, for some reason, don't have those anymore. This cost me £25 in total, so if you think about it, 8, 7, 14, 21, 28, not even £7 a fig, really. So, so yeah, very happy with that. Really love these. That brings me up to a total of eight of these, and then I've got Phase 2 Cody. Just need to find a helmet for this guy, so... If you, uh, if you guys know anyone with a helmet or you want to hit me up yourself with one, just let me know and like DM me or something. But I'm going to get to sorting these parts out, checking if everything's here, and then I'm going to start building the, uh, the 501st gunship.
wanted to do a quick update guys so I've just stopped for a dinner break at the second but I'm powering through this I, I did want to do a live stream but I just couldn't wait to get my hands on it and also my, my partner does want her computer back uh, at some point in the next hour or two probably so I've been trying to get as much done as possible I've noticed a couple of things first of all definitely don't do it like this I built the whole set I literally just poured it out in one B kind of tip and I've just built from there, but I would definitely recommend if you have the time and effort and space sorting it into things because it has been a lot of trouble and there's been a couple of times where I've thought I've lost something and obviously I haven't. Yeah, it's going really well to be honest. I've actually changed out more parts since, as I'm building it, I've noticed there are parts which I hadn't taken into account before that I would like to change and that I wasn't quite happy with Lego's design. So I've kind of, done bits along the way and uh, I've also done a few more colour swaps as well lucky I've obviously got my extra parts I've done so far this whole section which I'm actually I am pretty happy with I think once once it all uh, comes together it will look even better I made these like custom pieces instead of using the uh, Lego make because they don't make them in the colour I think they do actually make them in that white but when I colour swapped out, I didn't, I originally colour swapped them to blue and obviously it's just not bought them for me. Also, I think one thing with parting out, I would definitely say the main issue is you're never going to get a set that's like crystal clear. If it's white anyway, like there's a very big chance if you're going to get like discoloured bricks and, and stuff like that. Unless you like do it yourself and make sure that all the bricks are new, but then it will cost you so much money. So I think you, with parting out, I just wanted you guys to be in the know. There is a definite kind of, you're going to have to accept some wear and tear on the bricks. I would say that having built this now, I could have saved myself probably another 15 quid easily. And if I actually went through and parted it properly. So I paid £80 so in total, I think. And if if I actually bothered to go the extra distance and part out properly instead of just like a basic level, probably could have got this for about £55. Anyway, it's just an update video, guys. Just wanted to let you know where I am with everything. Uh, I've done some speed builds, which I'll show. Uh, I'm going to eat my dinner, and then I'll come back to it. So, peace. All right, guys. It's about half five at the moment, I think. I finished my dinner. I can't really, really remember what the last segment I showed you of the, uh, of the ship is but I've pretty much I'd say I'm like three quarters of the way done now I'm super impressed with how it's turned out I've changed a couple more pieces on it since showing you last but so far this is what we've got and man it looks great I still need to get the uh, the bubble pieces for here at some point but uh, apart from that it's looking so good honestly the carry handle fitted. The front just looks so menacing. So yeah, I've got one wing left to do and I've got the top like thruster sections to go. And then this will be pretty much wrapped up. I might do a review on it at some point, but this is a fully customized one. Seeing as we've got all these new control panels, I thought because where I got the customer no stickers I thought this control panel just looks so nice in there and I have checked like a figure fits perfectly just looks so much better so that's um that's one thing and the great thing is I actually have my fi I actually have a 50 first pilot as well so I'll uh, I'll be putting him in when it's all done and ready but yeah that's the update um again guys this is pretty much just going to be like a not a regular thing, but this is a kind of like a little vlog. Just uh, because I was going to build this on stream, and I still want you guys, guys, to see like the updates and where I'm at, and you know what kind of things I'm thinking of as I'm doing it. This 
is actually all of the pieces that I purchased off of Brickling that I've actually found that I haven't even needed mainly because I just didn't go through and part it out to the specifics and I, I didn't check I must have done some errors or something with like when I took things off and pressed the save button maybe it didn't save it stuff like that really because I've got like so many duplicates but I've also whilst building the 501st gunship I've also like gone through my parts list and changed little, little bits ar around and about the ship that I just wanted to like do to tailor to my own perfection needs and it's really nice because all those things actually make it even more unique and personalized yeah so that this just proves that you really to get your most money's worth because I genuinely could have saved like another fifth probably like 10 pound 15 pound not just by the amount of parts but by going through and checking how much your parts are costing because that's one of the things that got me as well I'm really really happy to say that all bar a couple of pieces it's finished off and it looks unreal guys this is pretty much the finished product all I've done is pretty much build it by the instructions on the computer and then I've gone around and as I'm building it I've changed out certain ways things are built I've also tiled off more areas uh, so I've like added blue in there put a bit more like tiled off and the sticker on the side uh, this is built differently because you can't normally get these pieces or I couldn't find them so I used different pieces uh, I've color swapped bits that other people I don't think have color swapped you, you can see obviously I'm missing a couple of the big pieces there uh, I mentioned earlier but I changed the control panels as well and to get the color of the blue in certain places I also changed the techniques in the way it was built and if we carry on around the back I've added certain like certain bits like here you don't you're not actually meant to put one of those there but I think it looks much nicer with it on I've also tiled off this section more around the back and I've taken off the the flick fire missiles because I just think it looks a lot cleaner and I'm not really that worried about that play feature so I've also tiled off that section there and my biggest thing which I'm most proud of is you know there's that little speeder that comes with it and I wasn't even going to bother building this speeder but uh, I ended up having some spare parts so I've done a complete custom model of the the speeder that you normally get with it and I think it looks absolutely insane uh, honestly I know it sounds like I'm blowing my own trumpet, but come on guys, don't don't you think that? I don't know, it kind of just looks, it looks like a proper hover bike. And this does actually fit a, uh, a minifigure. I'll show that right at the end. You can see it still fits in the back there, nice and clean. So that is my 501st gunship. I'm incredibly happy with it. Such an upgrade. Definitely going to be sick to add that to my collection. Uh, next on the list is a 501st Y-Wing, which I'm getting instructions for off a friend of mine in December. So that will be the next thing I add to my collection. I'm going to be unboxing a couple more battle packs um, very soon, just because I want to get the minifigs out. And then I say by the end of the week, I'm going to have my Star Wars collection video up, because I've still got uh, a couple of sets over there to build. And... Then I've got a set up and everything and I'm back at work tomorrow. So yeah, thank you guys all very much for watching. I'm going to skip to the end bit, uh, put this figure on there.